Hey folks, how are you? Matt Peralta back with you here on PlayPicks.com, our YouTube channel for the national championship game. Virginia, Texas Tech, Minneapolis, Bank of America. This game, well, some people are poo-pooing it. Some people are saying it's going to be boring. No, it's a title game, boys and girls. We've reached the end of the road for college basketball. Somebody on Monday night is going to cut down the nets and win their first ever national championship. How fun is that? Look, if you can't get jazz for a national championship game, come on. Virginia, Texas Tech might be the might not be the most sexiest teams and Chris Beard versus Tony Bennett may not be the electrifying coaching matchup that Coach K versus someone else or versus, you know, another big time Roy Williams, if you will, big time coach Bill Self or whatever. But this is a fun matchup. I know defense is the name of the game here, but let's have some fun. Let's make some picks. So when four and two with the final four. On Saturday. So not bad. Made you some money. Four and two. If you took our advice, you went four and two. So let's take my advice again. But before we take my advice, let's talk about what's happening with playpicks.com slash bonus or dkpicks.com. Two great websites with some of the best offers available anywhere on the Internet. If you're in New Jersey, they're giving you free money. Seriously, they're giving you free money. Why wouldn't you be a part of this? It's real easy. DraftKings, 25 bucks for free. Just for joining, click the link, play now, away you go. First deposit ma matched up to 500 bucks on the first bet. They're going to match it at DraftKings as well. Best, best stars got 500 bucks. Click it, play now, 500 buck, a risk-free wager. Why not take out a risk-free wager with the national championship game and have some fun? You can have $500 on this game. How much fun is that going to be? FanDuel, 500 bucks, a risk-free bet. Get 500 bucks for a refund if you lose your first bet with FanDuel at playpicks.com slash bonus. You got to click that link though, and then you'll take it right there and you'll be able to set sign up for it. Uh, in New Jersey. Let's talk about Texas Tech and let's talk about Virginia here. All right. 920 Eastern time to start for this one. 620 Pacific time for Texas Tech and Virginia. Let me talk at the top here for a second about how sharp these lines are. This is why I recommend flat wagering. If you don't know what flat wagering is, that is you wager the same amount of money on every wager you place. So you don't get caught up with the emotion of, oh my gosh, it's the championship game. I'm, you know, firing on my bankroll. All right. That's not really a profitable way of making money with sports gambling because this game is as close to a coin flip as I've ever seen for a national championship game. I've read everything. I've listened to all the pundits. They're all going back and forth, back and forth, and I've gone back and forth and back and forth. I picked Virginia to make the championship game against Gonzaga on my bracket. Now, I got Gonzaga wrong, but I got Virginia right. So you would think, well, Matt, you like Virginia all the way to make the final. You would pick Virginia, right? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. It's a tough game. These are two teams who are going to be brawling with each other. Now, let's look at FanDuel and look at DraftKings. Dra FanDuel and DraftKings, the two sites that we look at a ton when it comes to what are we doing with these wagers. Look at this total, folks. Just look at this. 117 and a half. That is 10 points more. Actually, 10 and a half points more than the lowest total dating back for the last 20 years for a college basketball national championship game. The last 20 years, we have not seen a total below 127, and here it is at 117 and a half at DraftKings. That is ridiculous. Now, uh, very similar when you go over here to uh, FanDuel, they've got it at 118 for a total. 118. So better, a little better of a number there in terms of if you like the over with DraftKings. I'll make some picks here in a second, but let's go and figure out why. Here's why. UVA, number one in opposing defense, 55.5 points. Texas Tech, number three in opposing defense, 58.8 in terms of points given up. Texas Tech, however, in the Ken Palm era, dating back to 2002, this is the most efficient defense we've ever seen in college basketball by a full point. Overall defensive efficiency, they are amazing. Opposing effective field goal percentage, a stat that I love. Second in the nation, 42.7. Equally, Virginia, very good, 44.5% for effective field goal percentage. 
Look at score and margin. Number two in the country for Virginia. Texas Tech, number five in the country. Opposing assists, 8.8. That's number two in the country. Number four in the country. These defenses are ridiculous. This is just grind it basketball. Grind it, fight it, scrape together. You know, every bucket will be earned. Every shot attempt that goes in will be a minor miracle with these guys putting the ball in the basket. And some people are really cringing about that. Some people are very concerned that that's exactly what's going to happen, that this game's going to be 30 to 20 and everyone's going to shut it off at halftime because it's going to be really boring and nobody wants to watch it. But I... I disagree. There will be some offense scored here. There will be some, you know, these teams do score offense. Texas, UVA shooting the ball behind the arc. They're really good this year. 39.3. That's ninth best in the country. But Texas Tech is 11th best in the country in terms of allowing to score uh, three pointers. 29.3%. Two pointers. 41.8%. Michigan State couldn't handle Texas Tech. Couldn't handle them. In the first half, at the end of the first half, all the way into the second half, it was all Texas Tech. They just thumped Tom Izzo and thumped Michigan State with that defense. They couldn't handle it. Opposing shooting percentage, number one in the country for Texas Tech, number four for Virginia. Number one, opposing field goals made per game. Number two, opposing field goals made per game, 20.1. 19.6 defense 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 it's just ridiculous it really is crazy look at scoring in the first half 26.1 27.5 first and fifth you don't score in the first half on these guys either so it, it, it's going to be in second half as well number one in the country for Virginia with second half scoring number three in the country for second half scoring for Texas Tech you know five and three one and one defense 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 is going to be everywhere so let's talk about some of the picks, some of the picks here that I like. And before I give you who I think wins the basketball game, we'll go through a couple of player prop bets that I do like a lot. And so we'll go in here, we'll go into under, under player props, uh, game props, and we'll go under uh, team props, game parlays, game lines, all different things that are in here. Uh, we'll go, we'll go to some player props here for uh, for Fanduel and. Uh, You know, this is going to be a game where I think there's going to be a lot of value here. Here's player props at FanDuel. I'm going to go. Let's look at Matt Mooney for a second. Okay, Matt Mooney uh, right now over under 12 and a half points for him. Minus 112 on both under or over for Matt Mooney. This is a guy who averaged about 11 points per game. This is a guy who ever got 22 points in the, the last game and played really well against Michigan State was one of the key factors against Michigan State. I'm going to take Matt Mooney to kind of step down a little bit, given the guard play with Kyle Guy and the guard play overall for Virginia. I think this guy's going to be running around playing defense. and I think he's going to focus on his defense tonight or on Monday night and not the offense. So Matt Mooney, to me, I'm going under 12 and a half points for Matt Mooney. I don't think he's going to have as big of a game for sure. And he's going to be on Virginia's radar screen because of how hot he got against Michigan State. So I think they're going to make sure he they take him out of the game. Don't give him too many open threes. I'm going to go with Matt Mooney under 12 and a half points here uh, for at, at, at FanDuel. And then the other prop that I like is Jarrett Culver. Total points for Jarrett Culver, 17 and a half. This is a guy who averages over 18 points per game, was non-existent against Michigan State. But I think, again, when you're talking about a, a total as low at seven, 117 and a half, I mean, we're talking about 55 points or so. You're telling me one player in Culver's the best player and probably the best NBA prospect on the court coming up on Monday night. So I'm not saying he can't go off. I just think the likelihood of him going crazy, not not likely in my mind. 15 points is probably where I th- I, he'll get to double digits, but I think 17 and a half is a little bit too high for Jared Culver. I'm going to go with the under here with Jared Culver. Yeah, a little more juice at minus 130, but I'm going to take the under and Jared Culver uh, for points. On the other side, from a Virginia standpoint, for Kyle Guy. So Kyle Guy at 14 and a half for a total points for him. I mean, this is a guy averaged 15 points per game, had 25 points against Purdue. 15 points in the last game against Auburn. I think Kyle Guy is a massive focal point for Virginia. I know Texas Tech's going to really key in on him, but I think Kyle Guy is going to have a big game to, to, for, for Virginia. I'm going to take the over here for, for Guy. Minus 120, again, a bit more juice on Kyle Guy, but I'll take the over for Kyle Guy at 14 and a half. Uh, I'll go I'll go 15 points or more for Kyle Guy for Virginia on the prop bet situation. All right, let's talk about some of the games here. So some of the game wagering, obviously, that, that we're going we're to get into. And we'll talk about the first half. I love first half unders. I made you money on both games in the final four. Picked first half unders for both of them, and they both hit. 
All right. First half total points is ridiculous. 54 points. 54 at FanDuel. DraftKings, it's pretty much the same type of thing here. DraftKings, 53 and a half. 53 and a half points for a first half between these two teams. Folks, I'm taking the over on principle. I'm taking it on principle. I'm sorry. You're telling me 24-20 can't happen in a first half of a national championship game? You're telling me that we're going to see a team in the teens? I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. I'm going over. I'm taking the over. Minus 115. It's a bit more juice here. So depending on how far over you think it's going to go, if you want to give up that half a point, depending on how much you're going to be wagering here, maybe minus 110 is worth it at FanDuel for you. But let's just, for argument's sake, take the half a point, take the hook. It's not that much more juice. Minus 115 at FanDuel. Uh, at DraftKings, take the over in the first half, 53 and a half over in the first half. I just think that number is just absolutely bonkers to me. It is so, so low. All right. Two more picks to come up here on our pick on our pick seven for the national championship game. I am going to go with the over in the game. 117 and a half. Why? Well, these two teams played already once on this court. They're going to be comfortable. And I think whenever I see a historically low number, this is kind of stealing from football, okay? And I understand that basketball is not football. So maybe I'm dead wrong and out of my out of my gourd here and the game's going to be 40 to 40 and I'm going to be way wrong. But whenever I see a historically low line and nobody's taking the over and nobody's touching it, when I see 117 and a half in the last 20 years, the lowest total we've seen is 128. It's 117 and a half. I'm sorry. I'm taking the over. I'm going I'm going with the over simply because I watched Texas Tech get going offensively. They crushed Michigan State. They only scored 61 points. I, I, I get that. It was 61-51, but I think Virginia can get hot from the outside. I think Texas Tech can as well. I'm not saying this game's going to be high scoring, but... Uh, 64 to 61 type of final. Yeah, I can definitely see that. <laughs> I don't think that would be that insane in a national championship game that we see these teams combined for 120 points. Yeah, it's re- I mean, 117 and a half. It's almost insulting. It's so damn low. It's ridiculous for 117 and a half for uh, this. So I'm taking the over simply because it's just ridiculously low. I, I just cannot buy it. I cannot buy it. All right, some numbers here to look at. Texas Tech. 5-0 and against the spread over the last five games. UVA, 2-4 and against the spread in their last six. But Texas Tech has been bad against the ACC against the spread for the last couple of years under Chris Beard. They've not been good. UVA against the Big 12 has done very, very well. And UVA against power conference teams, big stages, you would think this is a team of destiny. So, you know, when it comes to picking this game, I think, I think, I think, I think. I think, I think, get out of here. Taking Texas Tech. Guys, this is the thing. Okay, here we go. I've never done that before. That's, just, that's the first time I've ever done like a little prop thing. Texas Tech, UVA shouldn't be in this game. The double dribble happened at midcourt in front of the world, and it did not get called. How do you not call that double dribble? The call at the end with the three free throws going over to Auburn, going over to, to Virginia to have them shoot the game to win it. You could call, hey, that's letter of the law. Yep. Should that call have been made? Arguable. You can argue it. I didn't like it. I didn't like the whistle there, but technically it's a foul. Fine. The double dribble. How do you blow that? How do you blow that? Game, game's over. Ball goes over 1.5 seconds. Ball goes to Auburn. It's Auburn, Texas Tech. All right. I'm not buying this Virginia team like a, a team of destiny. Not buying it. I'm sorry. I wanted to take Virginia. I picked him on my bracket. I've thought about it. I've thought about it. Th- no. I'm going with Chris Beard. I can't believe it. I'm going Texas Tech. Even with Trey Owens is getting that injury to his ankle and he's questionable for the game and they need him interior to protect the rim. I get that six foot 10 player. They need him. But my goodness gracious, I just think this for this Virginia team. I mean, they have got nine lives. The Purdue game that could have lost that game. I, I think it's time for the luck to run out for Virginia and I can't believe that Chris Beard and Texas Tech are going to cut down the nets but I do believe that's what we're going to see Texas Tech money line plus 107 at DraftKings you want to go plus you want to go over here uh, for plus 105 at uh, at FanDuel take the DraftKings plus 107 money line Texas Tech to cut down the nets in Minneapolis so to recap my picks here where I'm going Matt Mooney 
under 12 and a half points for him. Jared Culver, under 17 and a half points. I'm taking tech, right? <laughs> but I, I'm taking under there. And Kyle Guy, over 14 and a half points for Kyle Guy. I think he'll score more than that for Virginia. First half, over 20. Uh, 53 and a half points first half over going over DraftKings as well both those are DraftKings minus one, uh, 17 and a half over as well and taking Texas Tech on the money line plus 107 to win their first ever national championship if you agree or if you disagree if you think I'm nuts you want to fade me go right ahead Come on over here. Go right over to our friends at DKPicks.com or PlayPicks.com slash bonus. 25 bucks for free just for joining. Click that link. DraftKings has got it. And they'll match your first bet up to 500 bucks on deposit. BetStars got a risk-free wager. 500 bucks. You like Texas Tech? Roll 500 bucks plus 107. How about that? Boom. Click play here. Go make that wager. Same thing over here at FanDuel. Risk-free bet. 500 bucks. Refunded if you lose your first bet. So if I'm wrong about Texas Tech and you put 500 bucks on Texas Tech, you get it back. How about that? Go check it out. DKPicks.com. PlayPicks.com slash bonus. I'm Matt Peralt. Look, if you haven't subscribed to this, do us a favor. Click subscribe. Be a part of this. Be a part of what we're doing here. We're having a lot of fun. Matt Brown's got other things going on with him with Major League Baseball. Our betting series. You haven't checked out the whole betting series Matt Brown's doing on how to bet certain ways. Check that out here on the YouTube channel as well. And then tell me that in the comment section. What are you playing? What do you like? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six plays on the national championship game. Six plays. How many plays you got going on on the championship game? Enjoy it. Let's have some fun. Have a great fun experience with the national championship. I'll be back again very soon for more picks as we get close to the NFL draft and other fun stuff that we're going to be talking about here on our playpicks.com YouTube YouTube channel. But enjoy it. Come back for more. Make sure you hit subscribe and stay with us for more here on playpicks.com.